stacked, and we're here with the wonderful Liz Merrick doing our third episode of In Between the Tears, where we're very serious, and we do it in one take, so any mess ups just happen. And there's a baby here, so if she cries, it's just happening. That's how it is in my house, too. Right. It's real life. So we're just going to take this opportunity to get to know Liz a little more. Mm, I know you guys are all dying to know Liz a little bit more. Yeah, we know nothing about her. <laughs> So Liz, how did you get started in the industry? Um, boredom. <laughs> I hated my job. Uh, I got started making cakes as a hobby. I think a lot of people start that way. I was working in a job as a graphic designer and would just come home and be like, ugh, I hate my job. It's so boring. And I would watch Food Network and be like, those guys have way cooler jobs than I do. Yeah. Like, why can't I have a cool job like that? And my husband was like, why don't you just look up a YouTube video? It's like, maybe I will. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so I did. And I made a terrible box cake for, it was terrible. Was it really? Okay, I just, so like. <laughs> like insert picture. I'm watching, I can give you the picture. I'm watching like Food Network. Yeah. So I know, you know, like what cakes are capable of. Right. And somehow I up with a six inch round two tier cake with lemon canned frosting, a rubber duck on top, and really big sprinkles yeah. because I wanted it to have polka dots, but I didn't understand how you made like fondant into uh, circles. Yeah. Circles! So there's sprinkles. How do you make circles? I don't know. <laughs> Cutters didn't exist. No. And I was at Michael's, like, um, I, yeah. I literally knew literally nothing. nothing. And, but I was so stinking proud of it. Thankfully, yeah. Facebook did not exist at this point, so I didn't show it to anybody. No and opinions. I didn't ask anybody questions, and I gave it to my friend's daughter, and yeah. she loved it. And I was like, this is a great feeling. Yeah. I want to do more of these things. That's the best part. And I was like college age, so like all my friends are getting married and having babies, and I was like, do you want me to bring a cake? I'll do it. It's my gift. <laughs> it's my gift. And it was, and I was like, I'm not bringing a gift. I'm bringing right. a gift. And, um, you know, it gave me such joy that it wasn't long before I was like, so guess what, honey? Yeah. I'm quitting my job and I'm going to be a cake decorator. <laughs> well, that worked out. Yeah. That was <laughs> eight years ago. Awesome. Yeah. So that's it. That's how it happened. Yay. How would you describe your style overall? I used to think I didn't have a style. I like. That's where I'm at. Wished I had a style like yeah. other people and I would ask them like, how did you come up with your style? Yeah. yeah. And um, I think that my style is a, a combination of realism and fantasy, and I tend to like a lot of texture. Yeah. So things that, if I have like a flat, clean service, my brain is like, what can texture. I do to mess you up? <laughs> you should have texture. <laughs> Make it back everywhere. I know. You just need some gold texture. <laughs> just stop. I know, like crum crumpled up tin foil is like yeah. my tool for like everything, you know. And then um, I think I like I'm just drawn to that naturally because I like things with that on right. it. Right. So if you don't feel like you have a style, you just have to like Make have a, like. you have to have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> and freedom to make things enough times so yeah. you find out what you're drawn towards. Yeah. So I've done enough collaborations now right. and enough like um, things that were for sub for not for clients yeah. that you like if nobody tells me what to do, what this do I do? What, yeah. And I feel like people see your style before you see it. Yep. They're like, I, I noticed this about all your cakes and you're like, oh yeah, I guess I do do that. Yeah, it's like almost like fashion too, where you're like, yeah. oh I, I know that you love turtles and you're like love turtles. How did you know? It's Turtle like, uh, fashion? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always wear my turtle yeah. shirts. <laughs> elephants on your ears. I love elephants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really into turtle fashion. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. It is. So, you know, though, sometimes I'm like, oh, you must really like the color black because you're right. black all the time. It's yeah. like, yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no color in the closet at all. Mine's personally full of turtles. <laughs> <laughs> turtle shells. Turtle shell backpacks. I imagine Satchi Coach's closet to be full of like cat shirts. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> She's like watching this, like, yep. yep all cats. <laughs> She's like, oh no. <laughs> if, if you weren't a cake decorator, do you know what you'd want to do? Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I mean, okay, there's a lot of things. <laughs> I do I do really love 
everything cake decorating related. Like I like the ice malt part. I like yeah. the baking part. All you know for different reasons. Right. But if I had and I am I do like sculpting like as from an artist perspective yeah. using clay and stuff. Mm-hmm. But really like a completely unrelated right. left field. Like if I never knew what cake decorating was yeah. and I wasn't an artist, not an option. I would want to build furniture. I just think it's so. Joe's giving me a look. <laughs> Joe, don't look at that. Don't look at her. <laughs> I think it is so amazing that there are people out there who could be like, you know, I need a bookshelf for this room, and they just go to their garage yeah. and they know how to like plane, a tr- like they take a tree, they plane it into planks, yeah. they stain it, they route it, do it all. They, like they know how to do, and it's this thing that could literally last for generations. You could be like, my great grandmother made this hope chest. Great grandmother Mary. A bad a. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Oh, this is a good question for you. What oh. jobs have you had outside, like before you were Liz Merritt Cake Decorator? Yeah, I know. Just like a boom, boom, boom. I've done this. I've had so many jobs. I've had know, over 40 jobs. Okay, well, maybe just like a like a, a lot of a best of highlights. A lot of food jobs. <laughs> yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I used to think that people. Uh, I was like, how do people like wake up every day and just like go to work? Right. So I was like, I can't do that. Yeah. So I had a lot of different fast food jobs. I was an accountant one time for Red Robin. Oh. <laughs> um, I was a bartender where I used to have to dance on the bar at midnight every night. More, Coyote, at least that. more tiring than it sounds. Oh, sounds fun. <laughs> you're like really working hard, like serving drinks, and it's like it's midnight. You're just like, ah. Oh. Back when I was like a lot younger, a lot hotter, you know. Dan doesn't know. Sorry. <laughs> Good thing he left. Avalon, don't listen to this. <laughs> um, just a lot of, you know, like nothing, I mean, aside from graphic design, that yeah. was like my job that I thought I was going to do. Right. But that didn't. It was my out. adult job. Yeah. yeah. Food job. I'll take it. Yeah. What's your favorite? This is the in depth questions now. What's your favorite food? <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> that works. It's like it's the first thing that pops in your head. Least favorite food. Uh, anything, any part of the cow that is like inside the cow. <laughs> okay, let me clarify. Milk is like. Yeah, I really don't like milk either. Mm. Um, I don't Shakes. love seafood. Yeah. Except for like really like white ish, but like people are like, let's go have seafood. I was like, yeah. Eh, like, or we could go get steak. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> but <laughs> that works. Okay. What makes you laugh? People who can just be silly and um, <laughs> I like making funny. I like laughing at times when you're not supposed to laugh, like in church or at movies, yeah. or when people are trying to be mad at you. Yeah. And you're like your eyes are bugging out. <laughs> That's the worst thing when someone's like, "Don't laugh right now," and you're like, <gasps> <laughs> "You're like, I can't do it." I think that that being being um, proper and acting what you're supposed to do in situations is no fun and I like laughing at times when you're not supposed to be laughing. <laughs> Probably when I get a lot of right now. <laughs> be serious. This is a serious interview. Yeah, what makes you cry? Serious interview. <laughs> cry with cry. <laughs> I cry like you could just it's so I'm a really messed up person, but like <laughs> You could tell me, you know, <laughs> not you specifically, because I care about you, but like a, but you if a stranger yeah. told me, it's like, oh, I'm really sad today. You know, my grandma died. Very sad. Right. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. That is, re- I'm, you know, I have a lot of empathy towards you. Yeah. That's very sad. I won't cry though. No. I'll just yeah. be like, oh, it's a really hard day. It sucks right. like that. And then I'll watch a commercial where like a little kid's dad comes home from the Navy and the kid is like really crying. Like, right. And I'll just be like, <laughs> Like ugly crying. Were you always like that, or was that like after having a baby? It's all no, not just. It's not a kid. Right. It's like the it's it's, like eighteen year old. It's like I bottle up all of my emotions in me for real right. things, but yeah. like stupid stuff. Is then it all comes. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. So that's what I think. Yeah, you know, like um, you know, Facebook videos of yours, like late at night, where you're just like not expecting it. I'm a lobster. <laughs> What's your pet peeve? Mm, so many. <laughs> Pick one, anyone? Oh, I know. This is this is the one that annoys me. It's probably over like the, that. This is the thing that a lot of people do, not just like my husband or my friend. Or yeah. <laughs> it's not just Dan that does this that I hate. Dan does. Dan just talked about this earlier too, so I remember this one. Um, I do not like 
having to explain the same thing more than once, which is terrible. I'm looking at Joe people, not you. <laughs> but there's a difference though. Like in a learning situation, like right. obviously in my groups, I have to explain the same question right. over and over again. In different ways. And yeah, but it's like, um, even just simple things like, hey, where are we going to dinner for the shine? tonight like at two o'clock and you're like let's go to this restaurant and then at seven o'clock where are we going to dinner it's like we already discussed this i told you that we're not wasting more time discussing this again right <laughs> even though it could that's what joe and i find about too because it's like it could just have been a quick answer but instead i'd rather take those two seconds and be like i told you <laughs> think with your brain where did we already think with your it? special brain yeah um also when i went <laughs> when i had my own baby This is, I told you it was real life. Yeah, we warned you. Okay, Daddy's gonna get you a cookie. We're almost back. Yeah. What's your favorite word, Mommy? My favorite word? Hmm. Adam. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I thought about this one time, but off, off the top of, oh, what, what is it? I almost have it in my brain. It's euphoric. <laughs> I'm like trying to visualize it's a positive word. Like I, a think, I think we were, I remember we got mystery asked. Mystery hand. <laughs> <laughs> we got asked this in graphic design school and um, it's got like a, I don't know, a nice mouth noise. Euphoric. Euphoric. And it also means something. Like no, yeah, like the feeling it gives you is nice. Euphoria. Huh. Now what's your least favorite? Now that you're feeling nice, let's ruin that. My favorite word. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Love. Uh. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Are you busy? Nah. <laughs> um, I don't think I have a least favorite word. Maybe like I have least favorite phrases, things that bother that me. Just like I give up or oh, yeah. things that make me just like you're weak. <laughs> you should never give up. Right. Just try. Just keep trying. I don't know. That's a stupid answer. I'm sorry. It's, it's live. live. Eh. It's live. Deal with it. Yeah. Favorite snow. Ooh, the ocean. Mm. I absolutely salty. When we get close to the beach, I like roll down the window. No more. Done with that? No more cookie. Oh, I got cookie face. Almost done, baby. Oh. Okay, almost done. Least favorite smell. Um, I really don't diaper. like the smell <laughs> of mold. Oh. You, you know, I don't think you're supposed to. You sometimes you go into like buildings or yeah, or like old food. Ugh. Like, I can't deal with that smell. I don't like, okay, if you were, I'm like, new question. If you were an animal, what would you be? A sea turtle. Because you wear all your turtle clothes. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody knows. <laughs> we see it. No, I would be a sea turtle because they live for over 100 years mm -hmm. and Everybody loves them. In the ocean. They swim in the ocean like mermaids. Yeah. And they're like wise. I mean, I don't know if they're wise, but they seem like they're very wise. Except for the ones that are like totally What's too. What's yeah. And they get to like swim in areas of the ocean that like people just take, but, yeah. you know, they're just like, I didn't know that existed. And they're like, that's my backyard. They're like, I see that every day on my stroll for breakfast. Exactly. My stroll. Swim. <laughs> we should cut to that clip of Dan swimming in the water. <laughs> It's just going to be the only YouTube video I post. <laughs> okay, our last question. Okay. Super serious. serious. Last but not least. <laughs> Best piece of advice that you give someone. Just not necessarily for cake, life. Mm. It could be for cake, whichever. Oh, just whatever, for just life? Whatever comes to you. Just your Liz Merrick advice. Mm, I think I try to think of things that are relevant to me, that I remind myself you know, like you give other people advice, you like also I give this to myself. Right. Which is that um, bad things happen to us all. The the bad rain falls on us all equally, mm -hmm. and your attitude is your umbrella. That sounds like a terrible. Your attitude is your umbrella. <laughs> is that sound like a terrible like Hallmark card? Not when I picture it. It's nice. But it's true though, because yeah. you know, and sometimes you forget to like take out your umbrella because you're like, I just want the rain to hit me. I feel bad. Yeah. You know, like you just want to wallow. You're just away. like, give it to me. Yeah, yeah. You're 
just have an extra bad day and you want to wallow in your badness for a little while, but then, I don't know, just like no matter what happens or what, you know, you feel like is a bad day, it's either, it could be a, your umbrella. it could be a blessing yeah. if you but bust out your good attitude umbrella. Yeah. You know? So that works kind of for everybody in every situation, even outside of cake. Just yeah, like, just like, that sounds like really petty. Just like have a good attitude about it, but if you but it does go far because if you you are negative about it, then you just, you feel like more negative stuffs happening to you all the time. Yeah, and you're allowed to have a fit for five minutes, and then you gotta put your big girl panties on. And be yeah. like, Okay, what can we do to fix, to it. fix this? Right. And what can we get good out of this? Yeah. And just like be positive. Go. 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 Your attitude right. is your umbrella. Boom. <laughs> Take it, everyone. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Liz Merrick a little more. I, I almost said the name I have for her. <laughs> but thanks for watching again, and stay tuned for more. <laughs>